Welcome Wolf of Wolfettes, we are back with Gravity Rush 2 on the PlayStation 4 and today we are going to be carrying on with the DLC. Now uh, not too much happened in the last video, what, of, what we've been doing is we have been zapped into this weird like new dimension and we have sort of lost all of our memories. So uh, we're having to collect up all of our memories so we can learn what actually happened to our brother Zaza and stuff like that. We've had, we've had to pick them up pretty quickly though because there's these random sort of cat robots called collectors that are trying to eat our memories. So that's all we really did in the last video. We spent a bit of time just gathering up our memories. We've learned a few things. We've learned that the bus sort of went over the edge of Hexaville when we got stuck in some underground world at the bottom of the world pillar. That's what we sort of learned. And we also learned about how much Raven loves her brother. That's all we really learned really is how much Raven loves her brother and how much Zaza used to do for her. But yeah, let's get on with it. We're going to talk to Zaza now because... Uh, Create a bit told us to speak to him if we want to help him. <laughs> Very anonymous. The adults aren't here, so I've got to take charge. Hey, look, I think that's the first time we've ever, we've ever seen him not looking angry. <laughs> They'll come for us. They have to, don't they? Until they do, it's up to me to keep the others safe. Zaza, I can help. Sasha. I can do anything. I'm not scared. I know you're not. You've always been a tough girl. Alright, I've got something you can help me with. Check the trash being dumped from up above for something we can use. You think you can handle that? We need whatever supplies we can get. Leave it to me. I'll find something good for you. Just be careful, please. I don't want anything to happen to you. I'll be fine, Zaza. Okay then. So we need to search the rubbish so we can find something useful for Zaza. Because I guess the people in Hexaville, they're probably going to dump all of their rubbish over the edge, isn't they? And it's just going to fall into oblivion. So lots of their rubbish will probably fall on people that live below them. <laughs> so I guess they can just pick up rubbish. I suppose it's a good way to get food. I mean, I'm not sure how, how good a McDonald's McChicken sandwich will taste after being thrown like... A million miles from the sky, but you know, I'm sure it tastes brilliant. <laughs> oh, could you imagine that? If somebody dropped a McChicken sandwich out of a plane and you just picked it up and ate it. Delicious. I think I would do that, actually. I'll do anything for a McChicken sandwich. I've got some weird obsession with them. I shouldn't like them. I really shouldn't like them. It's bad to eat McDonald's, but I can't help it. I'm addicted, Wolf Moffats. The man with the hat left us all alone. He was the only adult on the bus. See, that's what I've been wondering about since Gravity Rush 1. What actually happened to the driver? Because obviously the bus went over the edge. Did he sort of bail, bail out of the bus and ditch all the kids? Or did he die? Or did he just find a way to get back to Hexaville or something? What actually happened to him? That's what I want to know. <laughs> he probably just bailed out of the bus, didn't he? He's probably like, fuck these kids and just jumped out of the bus. Maybe he was sick of how scary Zaza looks because he's got some very evil, scary face. Is that an ice cream van? The huts we found down below were left behind by someone. They became our shelter. Oh, I remember this bit. This is when the game is going to turn into croc. Lots of moving platforms for us to jump on. They're very, very, very big platforms, you know, so you've got to be really quick when you jump on these. Because, like, when it starts moving that way, if you take too long to run all the way over here, then you're going to end up being took back. I can see a spider, and I'm not too happy about it. <laughs> look at that. Oh, look at that. No, thanks. I don't think we should carry on. I think we should end the video here. So, yeah, thanks for watching, War Forfets. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dear. I don't want to do this. It better not move. I think I should make that as a bet. I'm starting to think, you know everybody does a thing on YouTube where they, uh, when, when they get to a milestone, they like do some sort of random thing. Maybe if I get to a million subscribers, I might hold a tarantula. Like, because at Yorkshire Wildlife Park, if any of you guys have heard of it, they have tarantulas there, and I think you can actually book an appointment to like hold a tarantula. So, if I get to a million sub, maybe 100,000, because 100,000 has been my goal since I started. 
So if I get to 100,000 subscribers, maybe a million, it will depend how pussy I'm feeling, I'll hold a tarantula. So if you guys want to quote me in the future, if I ever make it, which I won't, if I do make it though, there you go, that's what I'll do. I shouldn't have said that, I'm not sure if I'm going to mute this now, I might mute the video now, fuck that, <laughs> I'm not going to do it. In the village we made, there was a big scary monster, I always was afraid it would eat me. Yeah, because when when Cat went down to this uh, under under underground world, there was this big sort of nevy called Nushi, I think his name was, and he kept like harassing the kids and trying to eat them and stuff. I think that's who she's uh, referencing, I think. But yeah, once we get past all of this jumping stuff, because we have to go all the way over there, once we get past this bit, because that's where the rubbish is over there, to get the memory. Once we've done this, I'm not actually sure what to do next. It's going to be blind from that point onwards. Because I've recorded three videos in a row. Because I'm trying to get a lot of videos done, ready for my holiday and stuff. I'm a pretty damn nice person when it comes to YouTube. I mean, I don't. this ain't my job, you know. I don't earn much money, you know. I'm lucky if I can get... If, if, I, if I upload two videos a day, and I get lucky with my videos, I can maybe get £20. But generally, I earn about £12 from YouTube, you know. And, uh... I also, so it's not my job, you know. I also don't get many views, but I still upload every single day. And when I've got, like, holidays come in and there's going to be, like, situations when I'm not at home, I record like an absolute beast just so you guys have a video to watch for the people that do enjoy my videos, you know. I, I like to see any other channel that is as small as me actually do the stuff I do at the same quality, you know. I mean, my videos are not the best quality in the world, but for the size of my channel and the views I get, I think my uh, quality is very high, actually. It could be a lot lower. <laughs> Oh, God. But, you know, you guys are worth it. There's not many of you, but I also... Sometimes I enjoy not having that many views, you know? Because when I see the amount of views you get on big channels and how little you can actually respond to people, you know? I kind of... It makes me appreciate the low views sometimes, you know? Because, like, everybody that's subscribed to me, I sort of know everything about you, you know? Like, like from YouTube. I don't know everything about you, but I know your personalities. The kinds of comments you're going to leave, you know? So I do, I do enjoy that, you know? It's nice to know the people that are subscribed to me. If I had like a thousand comments, it would be impossible to learn everybody. So there is some benefits, I guess. Obviously, I would like... Ah! Ah! Oh, no! Oh, no. I think we're going to be put back at the beginning bit now. Oh, no. Oh no, we got we got a, we got a little checkpoint. Okay, that's all right then. Well, we one thing we do need to learn though is how Sasha got back to Hexaville. That's the one thing we haven't learned yet. We need to learn that. That's the most important thing that I want to know. So hopefully we find out about that. Right, carefully this time. There we go. Boing. The things that fell from the sky were our only food. <laughs> well, I hope somebody threw a McChicken sandwich down for you, uh, Raven. She is adorable. But she, I don't know. Something about... I think it's the fact that she doesn't blink. I mean, look, just, just look at Raven without me pressing anything. Just look at her, look. She never blinks. She's like possessed. Especially with her wearing all black. She's like a possessed church girl or something. I mean, she's still adorable, but... Oh, man, I wish she would blink. I really wish she would blink. And I wish she'd wear a different coloured jacket. Looks like she's going to a funeral. What's that over there? Explore the strange object. Looks like a car, doesn't it? What's this thing? Did it fall down here with the other stuff? Hey, it's making weird noises. Maybe it's someone's airboat. If it's still working, it can get us back home. I've got to tell Zaza. Hmm, I wonder if I can fly it back.
de le place le jeu. Excellent. Fais-y plan, couche, et je. Vu la cesse, hexava, moi fait de la cesse. La la juste tout le long, du plaît, et voilà cesse. Raven. I like her. I like how she teased us a little bit. She was like, "I was, um, I was all alone and scared until I, and then doesn't tell us." <laughs> well, at least we know how she got back to Hexaville. But as I told you guys, time flows differently. So whilst half a century passed, half a century had passed in the few days that she was stuck in this underground world, you know. So yeah, everything was different up there. And now that she's gone there, she's aged a lot whilst whilst Zaza is still a young kid. Welcome back, Raven. Oh, yeah. You. Ooh. Poor Sasha was so alone when she returned to Hexaville. You discovered time flowed differently at the bottom of the world. A few months had passed down below, but half a century passed in Hexaville. Zaza's parents were gone, and you were left all alone to fend for yourself. But then you met Z. I think that's Z. How do you do the X noise? Let me know in the comments. I think it's like Z in it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Z. I'm just going to call him Z. And became the powerful gravity shifter Raven. You worked so hard to save the children you left behind. You tried everything you could, but nothing worked. That is, until you worked with the other shifter to get the children into the Ark. The Ark was only trying to keep them safe when it put them to sleep. And here you are again, doing whatever it takes to save them. How do you know so much about me? I agree. <laughs> I know more about the girl named Sasha and the woman named Raven than you realise. Are you one? You're one of them, aren't you? Like Gade and Cyane. I do what I can to keep this world system free from bugs. You could say I'm an engineer of sorts. Raven, to fix the present. You're going to have to fix the past. Just like then, you need to get the children on the Ark and take them back to Hexaville. They're waiting for you to lead them. Oh. Zaza, there you are. That's the Zaza I saw when I went back down the pillar. I can't imagine how hard it must have been for him to protect the others. Will the Ark really take us home? The children believe in you. You'd better not be giving them false hope. If this is a lie, even if this isn't real, I can't bear to let Zaza down. Oh, yeah. I'll get everybody home, trust me. I promised a little girl named Sasha I would. Sasha, is she okay? Where is she? <laughs> I mean, she must sort of look similar to his little sister, you know. I mean, she'll look a bit different because she's a woman, but there must be similarities, something you can notice, or a scar or something. That is the good thing about having scars. It's a good way to, like, shut somebody up, or a birthmark. <laughs> she's waiting for you. Now, help me get everyone on the Ark. Guard Zaza as he makes his way to the Ark. Zaza will do whatever he can to reach the Ark, although he will try to avoid collectors, try not to let him get cornered. Use all of Raven's abilities to defeat the Collectors. Okay. Right. So, he's going to make his way to the Ark. We're still in, like, this memory world at the moment, so everything's still a bit weird. But we're going to have to try and get him to the Ark. And you need to defend him from the Collectors. Now, uh, this is as far as I've got. I've never actually done any of this bit. From this point onwards, it's blind for me. So, I'm not sure how tough the Collectors are. So, hopefully, hopefully it's a bit simple. I'm not a fan of combat with Raven because, like I said, I always use kick attacks to, like, travel around really quickly when I play as Cat, so... I don't know, I feel a bit weird playing as Raven. I feel like I have to be a lot slower. <laughs> Can I actually... Yeah, it's, it's really weird. I think I'm just playing like a noob. There's a monster on the island next to me. I need to stay close to Zaza. Oh, where is he then? Oh. Okay, we better keep him safe. 
Oops, that was a foul. Ow! Proper punched me. <laughs> you see what I mean, though? Oh, I can't explain it. I can't explain what I'm talking about. I'm probably sounding annoying. I do apologise. Oh, memory. Right, we're just going to stick with Zaza and see what the... Uh-oh. I keep missing. I suppose if we just stay really close to him, all of these collectors seem to want to hit me instead. So if we just stick close to Zaza, we might not really have to kill any. I mean, at the moment, it looks like we're going to... Yeah. So we're going to go in circle and he's going to walk onto these platforms. And then they're going to slowly make their way down to the arc in the middle. That's the arc in the middle. Okay, this is going to take a while. We need to get to the arc and get everyone there. Oh, shit. I guess we have to kill these before they attack Zaza. Why is his name got to be Zaza? It's a really weird... Oh, there we go. There we go. We killed one. It's a miracle. Okay, so if, if, do they actually, what do you want me to do? Do we have to like clear off one of these platforms before he can walk onto it? I suppose we should go over to this one. We actually have a... I suppose we have to just clear off the... Uh, we have to clear off these platforms and he can switch platforms, can't he? I, I, oh, I can't... I can't do it. I'm, I'm playing badly. This is not how I roll. This is not how I play games, you know. I'm supposed to play well. We are playing that, Beowulf? Get your head in the game. I can't hit the player. I can't... I just can't hit them. There we go, run out of energy time. I'm really going to have to get the hang of controlling Raven. Once I've started playing this on my own a bit more, then it should be a bit easier. Yeah, it looks like we need to clear off these platforms. So if I come over to here, and I clear off this platform, then he's going to be able to make his way down. I'm going to have to end the video in a sec anyway. Yeah, there we go. See, we have to clear... Oh, shit. We have to clear off these islands. Oh, God. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry, Wolf Morphets. I'm sorry. Oh, flipping hell. He stunned me when I was about to do my attack. How the fuck do you keep missing, Raven? You're starting to give me the right ump, you know? I'm trying to stay calm, you know. I'm trying not to swear. <laughs> and you're doing stuff like this. Right, you can jump onto this one, can't you? Yeah, there we go. Right, so... Where are you hopping to next? I should have saved my power. Oh, God. The, 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 the main problem I'm having is that I can't pick anything up. They hit really softly though, don't they? This video is going to be a bit longer because I don't want to uh, I don't want to end the video and have to do all this bit again, you know? Okay, so... It looks like we can jump on that next one anyway with the memory on it. So we may as well wait for that. Yeah, we'll just go over to this island. Oh, 
Okay, right. Come on then, Zaza. Jump onto this one. I suppose we're going to have to kill all these dudes in the center, aren't we? Ouch! <laughs> Ow! Oh, there we go. Perfect. Oh, another one. Fuck. How is a monster attacking you? What are you talking about? Oh! Every time I use my super move, they kick me. Oh, how'd you like that? Guardian Raven. Oh, I guess you get that trophy for not letting him get killed? <laughs> uh. Yeah, we're going to have to do this bit now. Oh, flipping hell. Much easier doing it like this, you know. <laughs> but it takes a lot longer. There we go. Oh, right in the face. Yeah, I've sort of worked out a way of killing them, I guess. A bit better like this, I suppose. There we go. Oh no, where is he? Where, oh shit, where is he? Zaza! Where's... Oh no, where is he? Oh, there he is. I just cleared them all. I hear some epic music, but I don't see anyone attacking you. Okay. Sorry about my commentary at the moment, I'm trying to concentrate. I'm trying to I'm trying not to jump over the edge and shit. This is really awkward, this is. Oh cut I kicked him into him! Oh Right, I'm gonna have to end the video now. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Wolf or Vets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully when I pick up next time we can carry on from the bottom bit and I don't have to redo all this bit again. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join a pack today. Oh!